Hello everybody, welcome back to another cooking video. Today I'm going to be making a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup chocolate cake in the crock pot. I've never made a crock pot cake before, but it looks really good, so let's try it out. So the batter for this cake starts out with a 15.25 ounce package of triple chocolate cake mix. and a 3.7 ounce package of chocolate pudding mix. Three eggs. One cup of milk. Probably should have used a bigger bowl for this. I will have to look it. And a quarter cup of sour cream. And a quarter cup of peanut butter. And a good like trick to use when you're measuring peanut butter is to spray the measuring cup with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray and then the peanut butter will be a lot easier to scoop out of the measuring cup. And then a half teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now I'm just going to mix this together until it is fully combined. The last ingredient for my cake batter is 14 chopped up mini Reese's peanut butter cups. And I just cut those into quarters. Now I'm going to fold these into the batter. Now I'm going to spray my six quart slow cooker with a little bit of nonstick baking spray, cooking spray, whatever it's called. And now I'm going to pour my batter into my slow cooker. Okay, first of all, sorry about the weird lighting, but when I turned on like the cabinet lights, it made everything like really like white or whatever, so you couldn't see it. So I had to turn some of them off, so it's kind of dark. But now I'm going to get my lid on and cook this on high for about three to three and a half hours. So the cake is done in the crock pot. Instead of three hours, it only took about two and a half hours. And I messed up when I was telling you guys to cook this on high. You're supposed to cook it on low. I said the wrong thing, my bad. So now I'm going to pour a third cup of melted peanut butter over the cake. It smells so good. I've never made a cake in the crock pot before. I have made a bundt cake in the instant pot, which turned out really good. So I think that this is gonna be good. Okay, now I will spread this out so it's covering the whole thing. And the last thing I'm going to do is add 10 chopped up mini Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I chopped these into fourths, but it doesn't really matter. You can do halves, whatever you want. So now I'm just going to um, pour these, well not pour, sprinkle these over the top and we will be all done. So we are all done making the cake and now I'm going to grab a piece and take a taste. It is now time to try the crock pot cake. So you can see it. The Reese's peanut butter cup's kind of melted. I think this will be good. Mm -mm -mm. That is really, really good. 
thick is kind of like dense and fudgy and the peanut butter adds really good flavor. This is definitely a recipe that I encourage you guys to try. It's nice because you can just like mix up the batter, pour it in and walk away. And it's not too hard to make either and it's definitely worth making. So good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.